Hello, my name is Ryan Harper, and today we're going to be speaking with a new Burns citizen whose pet chicken is in the running for America's favorite pet. My name is Esther, and I live here in New Bern, and this is Pluma, my pet chicken. How did you uh, decide to get a pet chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Um, we had some, you know, during COVID, we, we um, started with a small flock of Orpington hens that my daughter hatched from a incubator. And then I wanted to add a couple more chickens and I found out about the Cerama breed, which is this breed. These are very miniature chickens, probably the smallest chicken in the world. She's only 11 ounces. As you can see, she's not any bigger than my hand. Very tiny. And the one I thought, oh, that's, that's cool to have the tiny little chicken, right? Mm -hmm. So I looked around and I found a breeder here in the area. And I asked her if uh, she let me know whenever she had a silky hen available. Silky because her feathers are like more like fur looking mm -hmm. rather than little yes. feathers. And when she had one, she called me. And I brought Pluma into the house completely thinking she was just going to be here for a bit, you know, maybe a day or two before I put her outside with the bigger hands, introduced her slowly uh, with the, my flock. But from day one, Puma was just not having it. She wanted to stay indoors with me. She wanted me to feed her by hand. She wanted me to give her water by hand, everything. She wouldn't do anything without me. And if I left her alone in the coop, uh, which was, I set up a nice indoor coop in here in the side of the house, she would still be very upset about it. She wanted to be with me all the time. So she won and she got her way. And I started mm -hmm. taking her everywhere with me, my husband and I, and she just kind of became our pet. We even had a poodle. We had a little French poodle and she wanted the attention all to herself, didn't want him around. So we, we had to surrender him to my, my in-laws mm -hmm. so that they could care for him because she just wanted to be the number one pet in the house. The, the biggest thing is going to be what made you decide to enter her into the competition for America's Favorite Pet? Well, I saw that, you know, she has an Instagram account and um, mm -hmm. I, I kept recording her antics on Instagram because I thought she's really smart and she's really funny. She comes out, she always makes me smile. So I started recording things and placing them on Instagram and people just loved it. They loved her, her antics. So um, she grew a, a big following and I got, uh, I came across the ad about the competition. They have a competition every April to raise funds for paws uh, with cats and dogs. They have a competition with cats and dogs. Well, this is the first time they have a competition. Uh, they call it uh, the Animal Kingdom, which involves any pets. And that was a great idea. I thought, well, then Pluma is definitely a good one because she's, who, who would have thought that a hen could be such a great pet? She travels the, in the RV with us. So every time we go camping, she comes with us. And I thought, I think she has a good chance at winning. So if she wins, we're going to travel the country together. What is it like advancing to the next couple of rounds? Because I, I know this isn't the one of the first ones. You you advance quite a bit. So how is that, you know, fitting? Yeah, it's quite a long competition. Mm -hmm. It started at the beginning of September, and it's not going to end until the end of October. Right today, actually, they are going to pick the top five okay. of each group, and there's 500 groups. Oh. And after that, they're going to pick, uh, uh, this whole week is going to go by, and they're going to pick the top one, the first place one mm -hmm. of every group. Uh, once they do all that, then they're going to do another one until they eliminate everybody and they, they finish, they actually end up with five finalists. And that's not going to be until the end of October. Oh, okay. Now, uh, I, I did wanted to know, like, 20, the last time I checked, it was 20,000 followers for the Instagram page. How mm -hmm. has your life changed in New Bern with these numbers for the uh, social media? Um, well, I definitely more comfortable with introducing her to people people mm -hmm. are always asking about her i didn't realize you know that she was going to be such a big sensation online so when we go um and we run errands and we bring her along i'm not shy about 
t mm -hmm. talking to people about her because they know that they care. They want to find out how does one keep a, a hand, you know, what you have. We were at Lowe's the other day and someone said, she goes in the cart. I just put a blanket, sit her on the cart. And someone said, that's the best chicken, best, the, the best well-behaved chicken I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> maybe the only chicken you've ever seen yeah. in a cart. <laughs> what are your hopes for this competition? Well, definitely. I want people to see what a wonderful uh, ambassador Puma is for, for the chicken world. Mm -hmm. She is amazing. I mean, I love parrots. I love birds. I grew up with a bird. But I had no idea that a hen could be, that a hen could be this uh, fun. And she can actually converse with me and tell me what she wants. You know, she tells she, she decides when she goes to bed, when she wakes up in the morning. So I want to bring awareness, definitely, about mm -hmm. the fact that chickens are wonderful pets, are wonderful animals. This breed, especially the little Sarama breed, it's a miniature chicken. So they are a lot more manageable to keep indoors if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, and I definitely would want, like I said earlier, I she loves to ride the RV. I would definitely love to travel the country with her because I want to uh, just bring awareness of the beauty in this country and how Pluma can, it's a great way to see it through her eyes, you know? Right. Every time we go somewhere, she gets down and she's excited and she looks for a place to take a dirt bath and explores. She just loves it. And, and I'm just kind of living that through her. Right. Well, I'm on Instagram at Pluma.RVSarama. Pluma underscore the underscore RV underscore Sarama. That's my Instagram page. And we just recently started a podcast called Chicken Chat Stories. Uh, you can find that in any podcast app because um, I love to talk about her. My husband and I are always talking to people about her. And Wapo Wapo is a little rooster that I also have uh, that I kept, that I got after a year after I had her. So uh, we started a podcast. It's very new. It's just the first episode last week and the second episode this week. But that one you can find under the title Chicken Chat Stories.